As you head out to the water this weekend, our wildlife experts want to remind you, don't move a muscle. An invasive muscle species has infected a body of water here in Utah, and they don't want it to spread. Bruce Johnson from the DNR is here to talk about it with me this morning. Bruce, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. So talk to me about these muscles. What are they? Why are they an issue? They're an invasive species that originated in the Baltic region and came over in container ships to the Great Lakes of Michigan. Okay. And then other boats that have transported them across the U.S. and we're trying to prevent their spread. Got it. So I understand it's just Lake Powell right now, right? Correct. Big body water, a lot of people go there. So how can we make sure that these mussels don't spread? What we're asking people to do is clean, drain, and dry. That means when you exit the water, you're um, expelling all the water out of bilge tanks, ballast tanks pulling the drain plugs, rear drain plugs, middle drain plugs, mm -hmm. so they are draining all the water out. That's how the villagers are transported into the other waters of Utah. Got it. So any of those pockets of water that might be hanging around in your boat, you might be taking some stowaways with you? Yes. Okay. Do, do When boats get out of the water, do they have to stop somewhere? Is, are there people helping them check? Yes. We have inspection stations located on the ramps at a lot of our state parks and reservoirs. We also have roadside inspection stations located across the state. We're asking people to pull in there so we can make sure and verify that they're not transporting that water and we'll help those boaters get through that process. Okay, perfect. So there's experts all over trying to help people make sure this doesn't happen. Yes. Talk to me about there was some legislation passed this year to kind of help all of us do a little better in this area. What were those laws? Yeah, effective July 1st of this year, we'll have a $20 non resident boating fee, which requires our non residents who are participating in Utah to pay that fee. Part of that fee will be an online certification where they go on, they get an education, they get a cert certificate mm -hmm. that then they can post on their dashboard of their vehicle, in their boat, and then on their cell phone that shows that they have got an education on quagga mussels and why we don't want them, mm -hmm. and then help pay for our program to administer all these activities. Got it. Okay. So you've said these are an invasive species. Can you talk about what kind of harm do they do to our, our environment here in Utah? They uh, are very invasive. They're very prolific. They will um, plug up the systems, all of our waterways, our irrigation canals, um, any of our dams and structures, and where Utah's totally reliant on those for irrigation and water, drinking mm -hmm. water. We don't want those plugged up. It can cost $25 million a year. Ooh, just for a little muscle. Yes. Big problems. Yes, we it let is. them grow. Okay, talk to me about is there like a boat limit? Are there certain boats that people are, are, are you most worried about, or is this every watercraft? Um, our boats that are wake, wakeboard boats, cabin cruisers, what we call a complex boat, mm -hmm. they have more internal systems, air conditioning, generators, where it's harder to expel that water and make sure that it's a clean, drain, and dry system. Mm -hmm. So we're asking people to be even more diligent with those kind of boats. Got it. Pulling the rear drain plugs, the middle drain plugs, and that's one of the new laws as well as a requirement that all those drain plugs are pulled when you're not in the water. I mean, this is a great thing for, for boat owners, too. I mean, if it can do that much damage to our Utah systems, imagine how much damage it can do to your, your smaller boat. Yes. Got it. Okay, one more time, what do you want people to do when they pull out of the water? Clean, drain, and dry. Make okay. sure that you're, you're getting all that water out. Make sure you're not carrying any mud or debris, any vegetation. Make sure everything is dry for the trip down the road, and we'll protect Utah. Bruce, thanks so much for being here this morning. This is important. I think a lot of people are using Lake Powell this weekend. Good to meet you. We'll have all of the links that you need for the DNR on this, these new laws on our website at abc4.com slash GMU. Brian? And those, those muscles well.